What's going on guys? My name is Keizo, and welcome back to this rogue leveling series. Um, from the last video guys, you might notice I now have some shoulders. I did go ahead and purchase the uh, PvP leather shoulders, so we'd have some uh, extra heirlooms. Um, I do have enough gold to buy a weapon or two, but I might hold off on that for now, because I don't want to out-level the zones so fast that we can't really stick to the the story that's going on um so when we left left off what were we doing um i believe we had just completed the shimmerweed quests over that away so what we're gonna do now is come down here and pick up these next quests what can i do for you pilfered supplies ah yes the grizzled den with the Frostmanes making trouble to our east, the Wendigos have sensed our weakness and grown bolder in their raids. Only one of the four most recent supply wagons has made it here safely. The Wendigos made off with the rest, stashing it in the Grizzled Den, a cave southwest of town. And if you're willing if you're willing to go down there and recover the stolen supplies, you would have the gratitude of all the townspeople and the mountaineers defending Karanos. We've got to retrieve six pilfered supplies. Problem. And he's got two quests for us. The Wendigos in the Grizzled Den to the southwest of town have long been a thorn in our side. They've never quite They're never quite strong enough to threaten Karanos directly, yet they prey on travelers, mountaineer patrols, and con supply convoys. I'm going to be withdrawing my observers from the Grizzled Den because I need them on the troll front. Would you help my men finish culling the Wendigo population? Without strength of numbers, they won't be able to attack us. He wants us to kill ten Wendigos. And the next one is forced to watch from afar. The cataclysm drove the trogs to the surface in hordes, forcing the Frostmane trolls to flee for their lives. Unfortunately, they've decided to settle right on our doorstep and make trouble for us. I deployed Mountaineer Dunstan and his squad to the Grizzled Den, just southwest of town, to keep an eye on the Wendigos that lived there, but now I need to recall them to Karanos. Find them and tell them to deploy these remote observation bots the gnomes provided then return to Karanos. So we need to tell his men down in the cave, which is down this way, you can actually see it right there, to uh, retreat back to town, because apparently they need them here. So off we go. So, uh... I was messing around on the PTR for um, 6.0 pre-launch, and it is incredibly different. I'm not going to say bad, I'm just going to say different. Um, volume's kind of loud here. Uh, yeah, my main uh, is a warrior, as some of you guys know. And the changes are just, there's so many changes, it's going to take so much getting used to. Um, but definitely really cool so far. Um, hit and expertise are gone. Um, dodge and parry on gear is gone, which is really something I'm going to have to get used to. Because I was gemming, I mean not gemming, well I was gemming and gearing for dodge and parry. That's just the way um, I do my tanking builds. I'll have to do a, a PTR video for you guys so you guys can check it out as well. So here is a crate of supplies. We need to grab five more of those. Oh. Come on, when to go? Seems like I've turned my volume down too much.
I'm surprised that dwarf supplies are kegs. <laughs> Nine Wendigos. Should grab our last one right here, then we'll just be able to sneak around. I aggroed you from all the way down there. And there's one of the mountaineers right there that we need to talk to. That is Mountaineer Dunstan. Oh god, one that goes everywhere. Six supplies. How we'll tell you? him to. Uh, says, watch yourself down here, rogue. These Wendigos are savage fighters. We're gonna tell him that Captain Theron wants you to deploy your rem remote observation bots and withdraw. Good. So there's Dunstan. Uh, there's one there. You can kind of see his name. Oh, there he is. That's uh, Mountaineer Lewin. We'll grab the one up here first, though. Really? Jeez. Aggroing everything. Doot, doot, doot. Sneaky, sneaky. Break as soon as I break stealth, I'm, I knew I was gonna aggro that. Come on, when to go? just gained evasion which is a two minute cooldown so that's one of our cooldown abilities here and I think I'm going to put that there because that's where I put my uh, warrior cooldowns or one of them anyway and what evasion does it increases our dodge chance by 100% for 10 seconds which obviously is a pretty big uh, pretty big deal so if we're getting pummeled, we'll pop evasion, and that should uh, allow us to survive quite longer than we uh, normally would if we were getting pummeled and didn't pop evasion. This message brought to you by Captain Obvious. Alright, Mountain near Lewin. Go back to Karanos. And... Are we done here? When to go? I think now would be a good time to go. Huh, see what I did there? Do, 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 do. We've also got our ambush ability. I'm not quite sure when we gained that. Shows that I wasn't paying attention. Um, what our ambush does, it ambushes the target, causing 364% weapon damage, plus 84 to the target, and 527% uh, plus 122 if a dagger is equipped. We, we must be stealth and behind the target, and awards two combo points. So that'd be something I'd have to put there, and just to demonstrate. That is ambush. <clears throat> Obviously, a pretty powerful ability, and even more powerful with daggers for some reason. Uh, 
uh, trainers. I remember the days when you had to go back to your trainer every two levels and train your new abilities. How are you? Those were the days. Alright, did you find any of the missing supplies? Sure did. Well done, Aggerfeld. The Mountaineers will be glad to hear that half rations are at an end. They'll need all their strength to continue fighting the Frostmans. And, uh, we've got better armor than both of those, so we'll just take whatever costs more so we can sell it. Or whatever sells for more, I should say. Alright, now that you've dealt with the Wendigos, we should be able to focus our efforts on the Frostman trolls to the east. Thank you for your help, Aggerfeld. Our forces are deployed thinly these days, and three Mountaineers could be the difference between defending Karanos and being overrun. And, uh... He's got another quest for us. Most of the Mountaineers in steam tanks in Dunmoreau are battling along the Frostmane Front, which is approaching us from the southeast, which is... that way. We can barely hold the trolls back, let alone advance into their village and take on their leader. They've blocked out a, our path of approach with mysterious totems that choke mountaineers who come in range, leaving the victims helpless against their enemies. This stone is inscribed with a rune of fire. It should be able to destroy the totems and free our mountaineers. We need to use that rune to destroy four constriction totems. And uh, we've got a couple of weapons there for a reward. get a quest over here from Razzle Sprice Rocket. Gnome names are always crazy. Operation Recombobulation. I should go back to Nomergon and continue searching for a, a cure for irradiated gnomes. But I stayed behind in Karanos because the town is my home and I wanted to help defend it from the Frostman attacks. I've been working on maintaining and repairing the steam tanks. For some reason, Frostman scavengers have taken a liking to the gyro gyro mechanic gears I need to complete the repairs they're all over the frost main front to the southwest southeast of town would you help me get those gears back he wants us to uh, obtain eight gyro mechanic like gears right and both of those quests are off this way so we will head out to the frost main front which is here there's our rune of fire Scavenger number one. Dead. Here's one of those gears. Here's a rune, or a uh, constriction totem that we just used a rune on. Back in a stealth. Scavenger number two. Dead. Take this guy out just for the fun of it. And the experience. Back into stealth. There's another scavenger. Oh, that one only one shot. Dead trolls are good trolls. Back into stealth. There's another scavenger over here. Updated music for uh, the Cataclysm Redone Zones. Back in the stealth. See if we can sneak around here. Find another scavenger. Holy crap. These are all scouts. Scouts, scouts. totem and we'll go over here take out this guy next to this totem 
Take care of this one. Need one more totem, which will be over here. So we'll go for this one over here. That way we can get the scavenger. Need one more gear as well. Here's our last totem. Oh, luckily we got that up before we get interrupted. This should be our last scavenger that we need. Sure is. And those two quests are done. So we're going to head back. Stealth by uh, scavenger. Like I said in my uh, in my first video, it's been so long since I've played a rogue. The last time I played, when you entered stealth, it reduced your movement speed by 50%, and it was just so slow trying to sneak around everywhere. This is pretty cool, the fact that uh, it doesn't reduce your movement speed anymore. I do look quite funny, though. Alright, pushing forward, finally some good news from the Frost Main Front. I'll have the Mountaineers press their attack immediately. Now we must signal our Gnomish allies at Steel Grill to start their advance. And uh, these... That'll decrease my DPS, so I'll just get the one that... See, when I'm doing quest rewards like this, and I've got better items than what they give, I usually look at, um, if you look at my tooltip here, the bottom of it says sell price. I'll usually go for the one that's got the highest sell price, even if I can't use it, because I'm just gonna end up selling it anyway. Uh, and that really increases your uh, amount of money gained through Crest Rewards um, by a significant amount. Like here, uh, you'll run into this a lot too, where they both sell for the same thing, so we'll just pick one of them, doesn't matter which one. in here to sell some stuff and repair if we need to. Hi. And we'll get rid of all this junk. Uh, I'm gonna hold on to that. Off with you. And I'm going to create all of these linen bandages. This uh, bar down here, this is an add-on called Quartz. It's a uh, cast bar and swing timer, um, all built into one. It's a really nice add-on. All my add-ons that I use, I got from Curse, by the way. So once again, that one is Quartz. Uh, go ahead and put our bandages on our action bar. And we will lag, apparently. Are we done lagging? No, we're not done lagging. That's my internet connection, apparently. You can see my latency here at the house is, uh, more than the world latency, which tends to cause a little bit of lag. That's probably just my ISP being uh, retarded again. All right, Captain Thurn has another quest for us. Help from Steel Grill Depot. Steel Grill's Depot. I mess up all this stuff all the time. It's kind of funny. All right, with your help, we've managed to push f toward Frostmain Retreat. Our forces will soon be in position to dwindle down the Frostmain Troll's reserves, leaving their village open to attack. That's where the Nomergun Covert Ops team comes in. Their technicians have figured out a way to deploy operatives behind enemy lines without alerting the Frostmains to our presence. Head to Steel Grill's depot just northeast of town and speak with Delver Crank Toggle. He'll tell you more about it. And Delber is offered this way.
All right. Here's uh, Delbert right here. Ah, you must be the dwarf that Captain Theron said he'd be sending. I've already used the Deployatron to get most of the Covert Ops team into position at Frostman Retreat. They're just waiting on your arrival. The Ultra Safe Personnel Launcher. The Cataclysm has brought our enemies closer to home, so the Chief of Nomagon Covert Ops asked me to build a device to dispatch personnel quickly and quietly to any corner of Dunmoreau. Behold the Ultra Safe Personnel Launcher doesn't look ultra safe with a jolt of electricity and the benefit of a VLD parachute system uh, that's a very late deployment for you layman this baby will get you to the front in no time just hop aboard and prepare for the flight slap slamp wobble cog oh my god these names will be waiting for you in the drop zone use the ultra safe personnel launcher to deploy to frost main retreat well that doesn't look like something I'd hop on every day but, uh, YOLO? Whoa! And off we go. Or up we go, I should say. Soaring through the air. And <laughs> your parachute has successfully deployed. Apparently there's, uh, there's been some that that haven't successfully deployed. Uh, there's a dead co covert ops right there. Let's, um. Now, if we wait here a second, this is actually kind of funny. You can see uh, other Nobergon covert ops dropping in. Hoping I can catch this. Give it a second. Now that I'm going to sit here and wait, it won't happen. one dropping in on a parachute. I'm waiting for a specific um, event to happen here. And apparently it's not going to. It might just be randomly timed. Uh, basically they They'll drop in without their parachute deploying and just hit the ground and die instantly. It's actually kind of hilarious. Like that. <laughs> Alright. Oops, I forgot to read that quest. Alright. Um, so basically, they, uh, they tell us that we're here and we need to start working on these trolls. Eliminate the resistance. The Frostmane chieftain died in the initial Trog onslaught, but they've been led by a well-respected warrior ever since. Batok, the Berserker, was one was the one who organized the Frostmane retreat, the construction of the new village, and the strikes against Karanos and the Mountaineers. If we remove Batok, the Frostmane's organization should crumble, leaving the Mountaineers free to pick off the survivors. Batok will be in the village just east of here. And he wants us to slay Batok the Berserker and five warriors. Right. Alright, Delbert's technicians have been up day and night helping us prepare for this strike. Aside from building and tuning the personnel launcher, his men have prepared the covert operations air wing for a strike on Frost Main Retreat. They'll be waiting for a signal to begin their strikes. Take this flare with you and set it off near the cluster of build buildings at the northern end of the village and the buildings at the southern end of the village. The flying machines will make quick a quick strike at each site. We need to call in airstrikes at Frost Main Village. We need to halt the construction on this Frost Main Village. If we let them get too entrenched, it will be more difficult to keep them from settling here permanently. It's time to give those brutes a gnome's eye view of the world. Take this gnomish viewpoint equalizer 
and use it on the frost main builders to bring them down to our level. They won't be able to lift their tools and construction will come to a standstill. We need to they use like the burning. viewpoint equalizer on five workers. Or builders, I'm sorry. First off, we will, uh, whoa. Take care of some of these warriors. Here's a builder, a viewpoint equalizer. <laughs> Alright, uh, so much for stealth at that point. Bad because of the shrink ray thing. Stealth. Stealth, please. Stealth, please. Okay, screw it. There we go. I'll uh, come over here and take care of this one. Calvary. Apparently that puts me in combat as well. There we go. Out of combat and lagging pretty bad. This time it's not my internet. So here's Batok. I'll go ahead and get stuck on a pile of skulls there and then ambush <laughs> and Batok is dead drop back into stealth sneak through these guys hit this one Extra experience on a few of these guys before I turn on this quest. Let's head back and take out a few more warriors before we turn in the quest here. So, Frost main retreat has been taken care of. Well done, Ackerfeld. That'll teach him not to mess with our home. You have a great day now. Pleased to meet you. 
Excellent job with Bad Talk Dead. I'll send a signal to Captain Thera, and this should be the end of the Frostman threat. Very good. Oh, I must choose a reward. Uh, I've already got better armor, so we'll choose that. Both you and the Airwing performed admirably. There's no way that the Frostmates will remain here now. All that remains is to begin mopping up the survivors. Go ahead and complete that quest. And the next one we've got here is a hand at the ranch. Captain Theron asked me to pass along his thanks for your help and congratulations on a successful mission. He and his men are cleaning up the last of the trolls and are tending to the wounded. He also wanted me to th ask you to check out reports about troll raids on the Amberstill Ranch to the north. Ask for Sergeant Flinthammer when you arrive. So we need to head to Amberstill Ranch, which is off this way. And we are very close to hitting level 10 and choosing our class spec. Which I'm still not quite sure which what I will be going. We'll have to take a look at that when we get it. And Amber still with a bunch of uh, mounts and mount vendor for the dwarves. Here's Sergeant Flinthammer here. So you're the one who's been helping Captain Theran beat back the Frostmane trolls. I've seen your name in the reports. It's good to finally meet you. You might be just the rogue we need to help secure the ranch. What's on your mind? It's raid night every night. The reports I'm sending Captain Theron can't really convey the amount of trouble the Frostmanes have created for us. Your assault in the village has started to relieve some of the pressure. The raids still are, the raids are still frequent, but the trolls don't have the numbers they once did. Even so, my men are tired and their morale is flagging. Would you help us keep watch for the Frostmane raiders? They could turn up at any time. And he wants to wants us to help. Uh, defend Amberstill Ranch from Frostmane Raiders. So we will do just that. I'm gonna hear something strange. Oh, that's something strange. There it is again. I know I heard something. Stealing our rams. Run away. 
quest is complete and the dwarves are celebrating, let's go ahead and cheer with them. As they disappear. What can I do? Alright, with your help, we've managed to weaken the raiders considerably. They haven't suffered such losses since the raids began. Now is the time to press our advantage. We've got uh, boots, which we've got more armor than already. So we'll take those because they sell for more. And that was 1,000 experience. We are two and a half bars away from digging level 10. What can I get for you today? Rams on the lamb. The rams we raise and train here at the Amberstill Ranch have long been the mounts of choice for Dun Moreau's mountain ears. I, there are a few here, but not enough to guard my family and all the animals. A few brave Frostmane raiders have taken to stealing our rams under the cover of night, taking them south to the tundred hills. Will you be willing to help return them? You'll need to get fairly close to them and give a sharp whistle to get their attention. Their training will take over from there. So we need to use slash whistle emote, which I am about to make a macro for. If I don't have one already, I do have one. And that sounds like this. Which is kinda creepy to be uh, doing to a, a ram. <laughs> We do have a quest up here that we can do real quick, and that might bring us to level 10. Protecting the herd, we heard this cries in the middle of the night. Then this morning, sure enough, the herd was missing two rams. That dastardly beast known as Vagash has been preying on our livelihood. With Ironforge troops already spread thin, there is no one to keep Vagash at bay. Perhaps you'll be brave enough to seek out the beast and slay him. Bring me one of his fangs and I'll reward you. Vagash lurks just above the ranch here, but be warned, he's deadly. I can, can actually see him right there. We've got uh, some armor to choose from, which we'll most likely just sell. We're gonna go ahead and take a little shortcut up here. Oh, 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 fail. I'd get into combat there, but that's okay because I'm stunned. <laughs> All right, Big Ash is dead. We've got his fang. We'll go ahead and drop down the mountain here, drop on the roof. Say surprise. What's on we got the fang. Very well done. Varon will be so happy when he hears the good news. To kill Vagash is no easy task. I imagine one day you'll be fighting alongside King Magni's men on the Alliance front. We'll go ahead and choose. It doesn't matter because they all sell for the same thing. And there we go. We've got level 10. We've got our class spec. We've got battlegrounds. We've got all sorts of fun stuff, and this has been going on, uh, this episode's been going on for about 40 minutes now, so what I will do is lag really bad. I'm, I'm gonna have to see about that, that might be my computer doing something in the background. Um, what I will do is call this episode here, guys, and when we come back, we will get into choosing our spec and maybe a little bit of PvP. Until next time, guys, my name is Keizo, take care.